Hello guys, this is Mark the Geek. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to restore your Nexus 7 device. Um, this same this same process works on any Android device, phone or tablet. Um, I have um, the Nexus 7 tablet that has Jelly Bean. Um, first of all, I want to give you guys another tip for backing up your your apps. Um, by default, if you go here to settings and we go here to backup um, like you can see right here um, the the Android devices they back up all their their um, backup the data Wi-Fi password and other settings to Google servers so make sure that is checked make sure that is checked another thing make sure you are backing up to your Google account and another thing here when reinstalling an app restore backed up settings and data so that's very good because when you reinstall all the apps from the servers, it will automatically restore all the backed up settings and data, which is very good. And here is where you rest data restore your tablet. But I want to show you guys another app that is free in the market. It's called Click Free. This app is very good and it's, ve and it's free. Um, let me show you guys how this works. Um, here you got backup options. Here, what to back up. You have the options to choose what you want to be backed up. You could choose the photos, music, videos, documents, application, bookmarks. Right now, in this video, um, and no, not just in this video, but I use this app to back up all my documents and to back up all my applications. Why? Because you know, just just to have a second backup besides the Google servers, I want to have a second backup. And since the tablet has no SD card, because it has no, um, you know, you can't put an SD card, so we can't back up to the SD card because we don't have none. So I choose this to back up my applications and documents to the cloud. That is very cool. And here you have the options to choose where you want to back up. Here you could choose like almost any cloud service you got Elephant Drive, you got Dropbox, you got SkyDrive, you got Box. SugarSync, Google Drive, or this device. If you, if we had an external, um, if we had an external SD card, we, we, you could back up to that SD card, which is very good. Um, here in advance, you could choose make it to back up only when it's on Wi-Fi. That's very recommended. That's how I have it set it up. Uh, you could remove the backup, send log. My bomb exclude SD card because I don't have no SD card. Let's go back. Um, here, uh, you could check your backup summary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like you can see with this app, it will since it's already connected to my drive, it will automatically show me the devices that are backed up to uh, my cloud service using this app which is my Galaxy S3 and my Nexus 7 tablet. Like you can see right here, I just backed it up today because I was planning on doing this video. So that's very good. Um, if I'm ready to back up, all you gotta do is press here and it will automatically connect to the cloud and it will automatically start searching for all new documents and everything and after like you can see right here this is all I have backed up 93 documents which is 396 megabytes and application 122 which is 944 megabytes uh, let's go back let's go cancel this because I'm already done when you're done let me show you guys when you're done you're gonna see show you guys I took a snapshot after I was done when you're done you're gonna see this it says your backup is completed and stored to the cloud and just keep in mind it's gonna take a while so uh, just make sure when you plug it in make sure when you plug it in uh, make sure you plug it in make sure it's on Wi-Fi and make sure another thing make sure when you go to here to Wi-Fi Let's go here to Wi-Fi. Uh, let's go to advanced settings. Make sure this, where it says keep Wi-Fi on during sleep, make sure this is always. 
make sure this is selected as always because by default I think this is only selected like here I think by default it's it's selected never so make sure you keep it as always that way when the when the tablet turns off you know the screen turns off and it goes to standby it still keeps connection it keeps connection and for the backup to work you need to have that you need to have that so make sure that is selected so now that I already am backed up and everything I'm gonna go ahead and go here um, this is great to do it I'm, the reason I'm doing it is because you know I just want to start from new you know I already almost finished every single game that I have on my tablet so at first I didn't want to do it um, a couple weeks ago I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to um, um, lose my backups my gameplay but now that I've done almost every game and before the new games come out because next week um, Need for Speed is gonna most wanted is gonna be coming out for this um, I heard that um, Borderlands the app that's coming out for iOS might come out too in this fall and GTA Vice City Grand, Tur Grand Theft Auto Vice City was confirmed that's coming out soon for the for the pack and before all that comes out I want to I want to have a fresh looking tablet so let's go ahead and press here factory reset so here it says this will erase all data from your tablet internal storage your Google account system and app data data settings downloaded apps music photos other user data you are currently signed into the following counts and these are all the accounts I am signed to so right now I'm gonna go ahead and choose reset and I'm gonna go ahead and choose erase everything um, this is good to do once in a while and this includes even PCs as well once in a while is great to start from zero because remember uh, we we install and uninstall uninstall and uninstall lots and lots of app and as time passes um, your 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 flash drive or your hard drive um, start deteriorating starts getting slow and you know it's good once in a while to start with a fresh install on your PC as well on your computer as well it's good to do this once in a while just make sure you back up everything um, like you saw right there I didn't choose to back up my photos my music why because I uh, for my documents I use Dropbox so that's already backed up to the cloud for my vi for my photos I use Picasa Google Picasa I got over 60 gigabytes of, of storage so I have all my my pictures backed up to Picasa um, everything else that it's important it's backed up to the cloud my videos are backed up to another YouTube video that YouTube channel that I have which is private and remember YouTube you could upload as many videos as you want and if you, and that's a great source to back up your videos just keep them private just keep them private have a separate account for that and just keep them private that's it okay so now that was pretty fast let's go ahead and start again okay so now I'm gonna enter my Gmail okay so after I entered your Gmail make sure you use the same Gmail account that that your tablet is being backed up to so just make sure uh, like right now after you sign into your Gmail you're gonna have this right here it says you can change your backup setting anytime in the settings use your Google account to back up your apps da -da 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 restore from Google account so make sure this is selected restore from Google account to this tablet keep this tablet backed up so go ahead and backing up now your tablet is contacting Google to restore your account this can take up to five minutes so here Google and location use your blah, blah 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 let's go ahead and setup is complete and ready to use Okay, he says these are all your touch bah, 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 and give. Okay, so that's it. 
like you can see here it's now it only has it only has my default apps let's go here to your my account and here I'm gonna see all the updates let's go ahead and update everything if I go here if you keep sliding to the side you will see all the apps that I have that I own okay so now let's go ahead and search for click free and now I'm gonna ahead and install this app let's go ahead uh, this is the app that I use, I'm using to back up all my apps so right now I'm gonna go ahead and back that up uh, let me see if it actually deleted everything so let's go here to storage and yes yeah it actually deleted everything at first I had like around 1.5 gigabytes free so now I'm gonna have a lot of space of course so let's go ahead and open click free let's go ahead and agree and now that I am I'm into this uh, let's go ahead and say restore I'm gonna choose SkyDrive because this is um, now I'm gonna choose my my Microsoft account because that's where I'm backing up my my apps and everything so now it's everything there so now I was gonna tell me which backup I want to use. I want to use this one, the Nexus 7 backed up from today. Um, here I'm gonna select what am I gonna back, um, restore. I want to restore everything. Select the application to be restored and let it load up. So now here is all my backed up apps. This is all the apps that was backed up. So I'm gonna select all let me see right here I'm gonna go ahead and select all this is the first time I'm ever gonna do this using this app so I select everything like you see right there Let's go choose uh, my documents and that's all I backed up but like you can see right here if you have a huge 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 um, cloud um, storage um, space you could go ahead and, and back up everything your photos your music your videos your documents everything and just choose everything and restore and now it's gonna go ahead and restore all my apps from the cloud. So now it's gonna take a it's it's gonna take a little bit of time because um, this is a lots and lots of apps. So I'm I'm gonna let it back up and I'll be back. Okay, guys, it finished um, doing the restore, but it didn't really um, install all the apps. It just downloaded all the apps. And um, let's go ahead here. Uh, once you once you finish, and it tells you to go ahead and enable unknown sources. Right there, it's gonna be very easy. All you gotta do is uncheck check uh, um, un unknown sources, and I'll take you back here. Um, here, all you gotta do is it's gonna start telling you to install every app that it it downloaded. The download process actually took a while. It took me around almost like an hour to download all the apps that I had in the cloud. So you gotta be patient. Just make sure you just put it to the side, plugged in. That way the battery will, won't burn out. Uh, also make sure you have it near your uh, router. That way you could get um, better, stronger signal. Another thing that happened during the restoring session with Click Free was that it canceled the restoring. So then I went again and re restarted the restoring process. But this time, um, like you can see right here, you know the check marks when you choose to restore the apps. I what I did is that I took unchecked some of the apps that I really didn't need. The really didn't need. So I, I unchecked as much as much apps that I was for me was unnecessary to install which I, I don't really use that much and it worked a lot faster but it still took me like around an hour and restore complete okay so it was a success 
So let's go back. Man, let's go back. Yes, I want to quit. And let's see if all my apps are here. Yes, all my apps are here. And now it's up to you. It, it doesn't really save the, the way you had the, uh, the apps arranged before the, the restore. But now it's up to you to go ahead and start doing the arrangers yourself. Okay guys, so this is all I'm gonna record. Just keep in mind, another thing is when you're with Android, um, every app that you purchase, that actually is purchased, uh, you never lose those apps. Also, all you gotta do when you delete, restore your tablet or your phone, all you gotta do is go to your download section. This is all the apps. This is These are all your apps. And here in the um, here you're gonna be able to see all the apps that you have purchased, even if they are not installed in your in your tablet right now. These are all the apps that you have purchased. So no matter what, you can always go back and go back and install an app or a game that you that you bought months ago or a year ago it doesn't really matter so that's why I sometimes I don't even give a damn if I if I you know restore my tablet because all the apps will you will never lose those apps so just guys um this is all I want to show just uh, look at click free backup this is the first time I do it with click free backup and honestly if you are planning to root your device like hack it or root it uh, just make sure you use uh, um, titanium backup which is awesome 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 and it will also back up all your save files from every game that you own which is very good so guys um, hope you guys like the video till next time